you, Dr. Red. This is Mr. Jim's room. Were you able to review his h &P? I was. Good job, Sadie. He's in new admission. So um, he's an appropriate patient for patients on our rounds, and he agreed. Um, so why don't we go ahead and go in. Dr. Brown, can you do the uh, put in the orders? No problem. And uh, student Dr. Scheich, do you mind uh, writing notes for us? Sure. All right, let's go in. Okay. I'll do this. Great. Mr. Jones? Yes. Good morning. Good it's, morning. It's Dr. Weeks. I have the whole medicine team with me. Okay. It's This is the big group of people that I warned you would be coming last night. Yes. You'll probably recognize the faces. They're all on the rounding card that I gave you. Oh, okay. okay. But it's a big group of us because everyone in here is involved in your care in some way or another. Okay. So we're just all here to make sure that we're on the same page and we know what's going on with you. So I'll let everybody introduce themselves and then we'll talk about what brought you in, okay? Okay, fine. Okay. Hi there, Mr. Jones. Hi. I'm Dr. Red. I'm the attending physician on this team. It's my first time meeting you. Thank you. Hi, I'm student Dr. Green. I'm a third year medical student. Hi, Mr. Jones. I'm a uh, student Dr. Uh, Stripes. Yes. Hi, Mr. Jones. I'm Jenny. I'm your case manager. I'm going to help you with your discharge plan. Good, good. Good morning, Mr. Jones. I'm Jennifer, your nurse. Good morning. Hi. Hi, I'm Dr. Brown. I'm the other intern on the team. It's nice to meet you. Okay, thanks. Hey, Mr. Jones. And we met last night. I'm Dr. Gray. I'm the senior resident on the team. Yes. So now we're just going to talk about what brought you in to see us um, so that we all know your story. Okay? All right. So, Mr. Jones, you're 60 years old, and you told me last night that what brought you in to see us is that you have been having shortness of breath for about the last three days. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Excuse me. You said that it started when you were out working in the yard, really exerting yourself, but that it's still been going on even when you rest. Well, yeah, when I was lifting, it was a hot day, and lifting some everything, putting some things away, and then came in the house, climbed some steps, and that really uh, took away my breath. It was very difficult to breathe. I had to sort of lay down, and a lot of coughing. Okay, and it's, it's been continuing to go on, even when you rest, well, and you feel <coughs> wheezy? Uh, yeah, it's hard to get my breath, and uh, inhale and exhale. Now, you did say you haven't had any pain in your chest, um, but you have no. had a dry cough. Yeah, very dry. Not coughing anything up. No. And definitely not coughing up blood. No, no, just, uh, just <coughs> excuse me, can't seem to get it out. Okay. You said you've had this before when you've had exacerbations of your COPD. Uh, yeah, I guess when it's been strong, you know, it's been difficult to breathe. Okay. And we have you on oxygen here, but at home you don't have oxygen. No, I don't, I don't do that. Okay. All right. Mr. Jones, can I interject with a question? Sure. I just, um, I'm trying to figure out the timing of how quick your shortness of breath started. Was it one minute you were fine, and the next minute you were really short of breath, or was it a more gradual It, it was pretty much more gradual. I, I think the lifting, the, the heat, and the steps, and everything just brought it together. I gotcha. Okay. Thanks. And now, usually you see Dr. Melvin. Dr. Henry Melvin, right. Okay, good. And you said that your your other medical problems you have you've had COPD for a few years now. Yes. But you also have type two diabetes. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, as long as uh, it's supposed to be under control as long as I do the diet properly. But fruits and vegetables and uh, no sugar. Okay, good. Uh, you have high blood pressure. Yeah, I take some medication for that. Okay. It's been here forever. Yeah. <laughs> high cholesterol. Yeah, a little bit. That's a take a, uh, I think it's a statin or something. Explain. That's right, a statin. statin. Yep, that's right. Uh, and last year you had an in STEMI. Uh, I had some cardiac problems, but I don't know what that is. You, you're right, I'm sorry, I, I used an unfamiliar term. That's all right. Uh, it's, it's just a term to describe the type of heart attack that you had, and, and you said that you had two stints after that. It was the uh, little metal mesh things that It is, the, uh, okay. when they went in through your leg right. and, yep, and put the little stints in your heart. That's right. Uh, and also you have problems with uh, your prostate being big. Yeah, that's what they say. Uh, doesn't bother me that much, but uh, I guess it is big. Okay. And as far as all those other questions that I asked you yesterday, you know, I asked you head to toe uh, about anything that might be going on with you, really the only other thing that you mentioned to me was that you're still getting up at night to go to the bathroom a lot. Yeah, uh, depends on how much I drink, but I'm usually up once or twice a month. Okay. All right. And so how are you feeling this morning? Uh, a lot better. It's been yeah, nice to be flat and rest, and the uh, oxygen, I think, helped a bit. Okay. All right, well, Mr. Jones, if it's okay, I'd like to examine you at the same time as Dr. Weeks. Listen how your lung's doing today. 
-hmm. And you can help me fill me in on what's improved or if, sure. it's, if it's the same as on, on admission. If you'll sit up for us like we did last night. You can take a listen as well. We'll sit over here. Just untying the back of your gown here so we can get a good listen. Okay. And you're going to feel our stethoscopes on your back. Just take deep breaths in and out through your mouth whenever you feel the stethoscope on your back, okay? Okay. All right. So let's talk about what we hear. How do how do his lungs sound compared to yesterday? Well, initially when he came in, he had pretty severe wheezing bilaterally. I'd say this morning he's moving air a lot better, and the wheezes are less. Yes. Did you pick up on the wheezes? Yep. Okay. Did you catch if they were on inspiration or expiration? I thought they were in inspiration more. Yeah, I agree. I think that's when I heard it too. And what else about his lung exam was pretty um, classic for COPD? Mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> Dr. Shrives, student Dr. Shrives, do you know? Uh, I would say uh, the expiratory phase, which is the breathing out part of your uh, breathing, uh, would be longer than uh, the inspiration. And that's exactly what we heard, and I think you could probably even notice it from across the room, it's taking him a lot longer to get air out than it is to breathe air in. So that's exactly what we lo we're looking for and what your lungs showed us. It just confirmed with us that your emphysema that you've had for some years now. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Alright, let's finish the exam. Down here to your heart. His P2 is a little loud too. I don't know if you know. Just talking when your heart sounds as loud, just from your lung disease as well. So that's regular radiating rhythm, no murmur, shrugs, gallops, but a pronounced P2. Any tenderness for pushing? No, no. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm going to check your legs and make sure there's no swelling down here and that your pulses are okay. Okay. So what's one thing we really want to look for when we're examining his legs? Uh, any decreased uh, pulses, swelling. Soon, Dr. Brown, anything else? Um, anything that's red or swollen. Great. We're really worried. You know, we want to be sure that we don't see signs for a clot in one leg or the other. Okay. Did the pulses feel good? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Two plus on both the DP and the PT. Great. 